Back now with a shortage of bus drivers forcing Go Raleigh to cut back on service. The transit system currently operates about 1,000 trips a day and carries about 350,000 riders every month. However, lately, there's been more missed trips with some riders stranded at bus stops. WRAL's Joe Fisher is investigating how a driver shortage is impacting public transportation across the triangle. Cutting service is a big blow to go Raleigh, which has expansion plans in the works. They want more people riding the bus, but right now they can't even cover the routes they already have. And go Raleigh is not alone. Getting around in Raleigh. It's ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous. Has become a miserable experience. I was waiting for 40 minutes. That many riders say has gotten worse this summer. This must be gone like right now because it's 11 o'clock now and there's no bus driver right here. The long waits and missed trips. I've had drivers ride right past me. Has Andre Tyson wasting away hours at the bus terminal. It's been so unreliable and I've been so late to work. I can't keep doing this, so I have to get to work. I have to plan to be to work so early just to make sure that I don't get fired because of the bus. Raleigh is short 30 drivers and missing 150 to 200 trips a week, leaving riders stranded at the bus stop. That's the, the really bad part about this situation that we're in. We don't know until you don't show up because you're sick to do your work piece today. And so we don't have the time that's needed to get that messaging out there. Starting September 11th, Go Raleigh will reduce service on 11 routes from every half hour to every hour. Go Raleigh's 14% vacancy rate is still lower than Go Durham's 19% and Go Triangle's 42%. They too have reduced service. It goes against every principle that we have in trying to get people to come out and ride the bus. Walker says reducing the frequency of routes will increase reliability. We won't be missing those trips anymore. That's welcome news to Joseph Peoples, who's lost trust. I'm never arriving where I needed to. He switched from the bus to Uber and Lyft, which cuts into savings from his part-time job. I got rent to pay, I got bills to pay. And you're basically paying an hour's worth of earnings on a Lyft to get to work. Uh, yeah, and I left to get home too. And Go Raleigh recently increased starting pay to $19 an hour. Only Go Carry pays more at $21 an hour, and they are fully staffed. Go Raleigh is hoping the recent increases will help, and they hope to resume service in full by January. I'm Joe Fisher, WREL News, Raleigh.